Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a preview of the Royal Navy battlecruiser HMS Tiger, which has entered testing in World of Warships at Tier 5. HMS Tiger was built by the John Brown and Company of Hyde Bank in Scotland and launched in 1913. And at the start of the war, Tiger was the most heavily armoured battlecruiser of the Royal Navy. Tiger was assigned to the 1st Battlecruiser Squadron for the duration of the First World War and participated in the Battle of Dogger Bank in early 1915, going on to fight in the Battle of Jutland in 1916, where she was only lightly damaged, despite suffering many hits by German shells. Now, apart from providing distant cover during the Second Battle of Heligoland Bight in 1917, she would spend the rest of the war on pretty uneventful patrols in the North Sea. Now, Tiger was the oldest battlecruiser retained by the Royal Navy after the tonnage limits of the Washington Naval Treaty came into effect in 1922, before being later decommissioned and sold for scrap in 1932 in accordance with the terms of the London Naval Treaty of 1930. Now I'm always pleased seeing another real ship enter the game, so let's take a look at her complete stats, which are based on this combination of upgrades and captain skills. So we can see here, main armaments one, damage con and aiming systems, and the three consumables, damage control party, five repair parties with this build, and three charges of engine boost. Captain skills, pretty simple. Emergency repair, risk, adrenaline rush, basics of survivability, emergency repair expert, concealment expert, and finally fire prevention expert. So all the numbers quoted in this video are based on this combination of captain skills and upgrades. So let's let's start immediately with the armor layout. Tiger gets a four end plating of 16 millimeters. Both the deck and the side plating. It does get a four end armor belt of 102 millimeters. Here under the turret, 102 extended up. The casemate armor is in multiple sections. This is 127, including the upper casemate, which is very strong. Deck itself is 38 millimeters. We move across 152 millimeter of casemate armor, exceptional. The belt armor, 229. This extends right up to the, the rear turret. Very strong upper casemate. This section of deck is 25. Again, this additional section of 127 underneath protecting this rear turret. Aft end armor belt of 102 millimeters. And then the aft end plating is 16 and the deck section also. There's a small section of plating here, 13 millimeters, but here the deck is 25, 38. Additional strip here, of, this is very, very strong indeed, 152. Superstructure armor, 13 millimeters. The turrets themselves, 229 millimeter of frontal plating. Side plating is the same. Top plate is in two sections, 83 and 63, and the rear plating is 203 millimeters. We look at the internal armor. The that the Atmar chip is 51 and 102 millimeter. Stern, this is 102 and 19 millimeters. 
we look at the actual citadel itself it is submerged there is a small element of sloped blazing but just 25 millimeter so submerged citadel but it extends from the front turret to the rear turret moving to survivability 49,600 hit points and a torpedo protection damage reduction of just 13% this is further this these hit points are further reinforced, of course, by having five repair parties with this build. Okay, main artillery. Four turrets, twin mounted, 343 millimeter. Two mounted fore and two mounted aft. These have a reload time of 30 seconds. Quite a reasonable 180 degree turning time also of 30 seconds a max dispersion of 172 meters and a firing range of 16.3 kilometers firing both high explosive and armor piercing high explosive has a max damage of 5050 39 percent fire chance 57 millimeters of penetration and a shell speed of 787 meters per second while the armor piercing have the identical shell speed and can inflict a max damage of 9450 moving to the secondary armament 12 single mounted 152 millimeters these have a reload time of five seconds a base range of 4.5 kilometers firing high explosive shells with a max damage of 2200 12 percent fire chance they can pen 25 millimeters of armor with a shell speed of 914 meters per second tiger also gets access to torpedoes four launchers Two on each side, one fore and one aft. Now these are submerged. They have a reload time of 95 seconds. A max range of 6 kilometers. Max damage of 10,000. With a torpedo speed of 53 knots. And these torpedoes can be detected at 1.1 kilometers. Tiger also gets access to... The depth charge airstrike to deal with submarines two attack flights one aircraft per flight dropping one bomb with a max damage of 2300 and these have a reload time of 37 seconds when it comes to AA defense a rating of 36 10 single mounted 40 millimeter Vickers Mark II and then six single mounted 76 millimeter all combined they pump out a continuous average damage of 129 and they have a max firing range of three kilometers when it comes to maneuverability the Tiger has a quite a fast top speed of 29 knots now this can be further improved with the speed flag to 30.5 and remember Tiger ha also has access to the engine boost for an additional 8% speed boost. Tiger has a turning circle radius of 740 meters and a rudder shift time of 13.6 seconds. So finally concealment. Rating of 59, meaning you will be detected by enemy ships at 11.4 kilometers, and then by enemy subs and aircraft at 8.3 kilometers. So I hope you enjoyed this first look and quick little preview of the HMS Tiger. 
the Royal Navy Tier 5 battle cruiser that is currently in testing. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.